The cat cult of Bastet was at its height in Egypt in the years following the conquest by Alexander the Great in 332 BC. As people sought to appease the gods with sacrificial gifts, the priests of Bastet ran a lively business raising cats and turning them into offerings. So probably it's a big cat, but the biggest cat, they dare not twist the, the neck, you know, they rather make a blow on the, on, the, on the head. This was a very nice cat, look at that, very nice head. Look at the big teeth and so on, it's a huge cat. After a cat was killed, the priests embalmed its body with natron, wrapped it in linen, and placed it in one of the recycled tombs. Naturally, all of the work the priests performed was done for a fee, and customers generally got what they paid for. According to how much you want to pay, <laughs> you yeah, get a small, small mummy or a big yeah. mummy. If you are very rich, and if you want to please God very much, goddess very much, you buy even a, pee, a, a pile of uh, cats, you know, many cats together. But the evidence suggests that the priest sometimes cut a few corners. Look, this is a mummy too, okay, a small mummy. But it's not a complete mummy. They put only one bone inside or... It's not a complete body, is it? A complete no, body? No, no. Uh, it's a jumble of bones. <laughs> it's a jumble of bones, okay? It's a Just a jumble mummy. of bones. And mm. a quarter of the mummies were just fake mummies. They have nothing in the, in the wrappings. But whether there was a scarcity of cats or the priests were running a con game, no one really knows. 